starting to roll away. <laughs> hey! What's going on? Stop! <laughs> oh, that'll get him out of the way. Is he still urinating? Oh, he stopped urinating. No, okay. All right, we are back to the never led an insane man drive your vehicle banger known as Zetna and Harvey at the breakout anniversary. If you haven't caught up just yet, upper right corner of the screen should have a link somewhere there for you to watch the last video. For now, though, what do we got here? We got car door, we got bank, we got trunk, car wreck, limousine, and riverside. Well, let's check out the old trunk to begin with here. See, there's any Empty, junk back there? Except for a tow rope. Well, I'm not sure if that's really junk, but it sounds useful, especially in this situation right here. Can you, um, grab I'll that? I'll take the tow rope. Okay. Speaking of which, oh, hey, my inventory has been diminished quite a bit. Oh, hello. Have you sorted things out? I can't believe we had an accident. I guess these things just happen if you put a wacko in the driver's seat. You know what? That's actually how I started this video off. So, yes. Where are the others? Alaman clambered up the slope after he came to, was mumbling something about an epiphany. I'm afraid he might have lost the rest of his marbles now. He didn't have many left to begin with anyway. I didn't see the Keymaster anywhere. Did you, Marty? Nope. What are you up to? Marty has invented a card trick. It's more like a system. Yeah, a system. He's hiding the Ace of Hearts using a system that only he knows. And Hadi has to figure it out. I'm almost there. I believe he would have gotten it a while ago if it weren't for the electric shocks he keeps getting from the car. Every time he's about to pick the correct card. Every darn time. Strange coincidence, that. Would you like to have a try? Sure. Fire away. If you pick the right one three times in a row, you win. Is there a prize? Mm, no. Are you ready anyway? Yeah. So what now? Pick a card. What's the point if there's no prize? I need a reward here. Okay, what are we doing? Mahdi, hottie, and pick a card. Howdy, any ideas? I think I'm beginning to figure out how the system works. Okay. Can you divulge it to me, my friend? I think I'm beginning no, to- No, that's not what I meant! Fine, it can't just be a game of chance, can it? Let's go with that the one. third card. Positive. Sure. Hey. Right. Second round. <laughs> got the first one, I mean... 25% chance of success and we got it, so hey. Assuming this isn't like, you know, I'm scripted to win. Marty? I think I'm beginning ah, to- Ah, shut up. Shut up your face. Okay, um... Maybe we'll go to the same spot again. The third card. Positive. Sure. Wrong. Burn, heretics! Okay, the first one. Uh, are you sure? Oh, there was hesitation in that voice again. But there was last time, too. Oh! Oh! Look at my boy's eyes! Got right. it! Right. Second round. His eyes! They're the giveaway. If it weren't for the electric shocks he keeps getting from the car. Right again. You've made it. Damn right I did. Ouch! The auto body gave me an electric shock. That's crazy. The same thing happened to me when I won the last time. Is there anything else? Wow. Somehow I feel better now. Elevated. Energetic. Rather charged. Winning a game always lifts your spirits. But maybe it's just the electrostatic charge from the auto body. <laughs> That's a possibility too, sure. So I guess we had to do that to get charged. What do we need to get charged for? Well, that's a very good question, but here's the thing. Here's the thing. So far, what have we um, done? Skip forward. Oh, oh, wait. Okay, oh, oh, oh. Yo, we barely got away. I thought we were at least pretty far off from the asylum. Look, we're like down the street from the asylum. That's where we crashed. Thought we were really long gone from here. Who do we know about electricity? Well, um, the boy Alamon. Positive energy and all that stuff. We just gotta find him. I'm not going back that way. We have stairs, we have street. Let's go up the stairs first here. Oh, of course. 
Speak of the old demented Bruce Wayne, huh? What do we got here? Bank, moan, asylum, rust remover. Okay. I mean, without without telling me it was a rust remover, have I just seen that right there? I thought Homeboy had some lotion and, well, you know. He's enjoying his freedom, let's just put it that way. Can I take that? Hmm. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. Do you still need this antioxidant? Yes. And when will you be done with it? Only after I've finally been struck by lightning. This guy and his energy. Okay, um, can we talk to you or something? Ouch! What was that? Lightning! You've been struck by lightning! Really? It didn't feel like anything I expected. It was so... unspectacular. Anyway, you're a creature of energy now. Yes, yes. That seems to be the case. So why don't you start acting like one? Wooga! Wooga? Wooga! 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 So, the... The vehicle thing with the cars that we did. I guess it gave us the auto body shock and that was... His version of lightning. I mean, he doesn't know any better. I mean... If he got struck by lightning in reality, he'd probably be dead. <laughs> so he can't tell the difference. So yeah, we, we... He got struck by lightning, I guess we could take this now, maybe? I guess we need this for something, rust remover. Now that you are a being of pure energy, I guess you won't be needing this anymore. Wooga! Got a church in the outskirts and a van of some type. Oh! <laughs> It's Vladder peeing again. Oh, this dude. I don't think we could probably get through. No. Okay, so we got Van, we have Bladder. Um, let's at least check him out. I can't believe he still has to go. <laughs> He's been peeing non-stop since the restroom. He left basically when we escaped and everybody was called to all deck on hands. He ran out just urinating. Came all the way down here urinating still. He's still going. He has not stopped. Okay, we do anything with the van. Oh, we could sneak into the van, I guess. Driver's cab? Hmm. 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 Okay. The key's not in the ignition. So he's got the key. I was saying maybe we could just like turn it on and have it like go. Or drive off in it ourselves, although we can't drive, but... He's got the key. Well, what if we uh, mess with the vehicle and have it like run? Get him out of the way that way. Uh, parking brake? So we're we're good. Gear shift? I can't put it in neutral. Alright. Clutch is probably on. Yep, okay. Oops! <laughs> it's starting to roll away. <laughs> hey! What's going on? Stop! <laughs> oh, that'll get him out of the way. Is he still urinating? Oh he stopped urinating now. Okay. It would have been good if he just ran by, pixelate the, the junk, and he's still urinating. <laughs> I can see the river down there. <laughs> Which is where our vehicle's probably at, too. Look, Harvey. The railing of a bridge. That's a very good spot to tie a rope to. Come on, Harvey. Now you've given away the solution. I can't believe it. Oh, I thought... I thought I'd get a hint just this once. You're such a moron. What kind of hint is that supposed to be? A good spot to tie a rope to, for crying out loud. That is not a hint. That is broadcasting the solution. Sorry. Yeah, great. Now you've gone and spoiled the fun for the player. All that switching back and forth between screens, all the pointless trial and error, all the pixel hunting, and finally having to go online and find a walkthrough. Bad Harvey. Bad, bad Harvey. Yes! Yes! Across the river? Sure. <laughs> well, it, solved, it saved me some extra time today, so I'm glad. Sometimes these episodes when I put them out, <laughs> trying to figure these things out, oof. Long time in there. Okay, so we got ourselves a gate here. I guess this is leading us to the church that we saw off on the outskirts. Anything about the river? Dark and unfathomable. Mm-hmm. It's true. No can do. The lock is rusted tight. Well, that's- oh! Oh, yeah. Rust remover, <laughs> Okay. 
Let's see how good this stuff really is. Good enough for it to work. No, don't change the items. Just go in there. You know, a little bit squeaky still, but it opened. This is the last resting place for Henry Miller. He won the Monterey Binge Trophy every year. He's really big in this area, this Henry Miller. Last resting place of Mattis Conrad. Daddy? This is my father's grave, Harvey. So it really is true. He is dead after all. What can I do, Harvey? Where shall I go? Calm down, Edna. Let's just stick to our plan. We'll make our way home. Then we'll look for compromising evidence against Dr. Marcel. We'll be okay. I'm sure of it. Okay. What about this grave? Deirdre, figure skating until late spring. Uh, it's probably how she went, you know? You gotta stop. Snow's gone. Can't continue figure skating. You'll probably drown. It's a very spooky looking church, too. Altar? This is something like a ham radio for theologists. <laughs> the company logo. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's good. The hell happened here? God su God sucks ink. Even blacker Sabbath, okay? So you have black Sabbath, and then you have the even blacker version of Sabbath. The Paul Bunyan crew Fresno, all right? Jesus zombie massacre, sacrilege. Hello, you have a visitor. Just a moment, please. I'm watching this. But I need information about my father. Wait a second. You're Edna. Mattis Conrad's daughter. What? You knew my father? Did I know your father? The story of your father has become legend. Don't you remember what happened back then? No. In fact, I forgot everything. Tell me now. I want to hear the whole story. Yes, I think you should know. You probably know that your father was convicted for the murder of a child. He was given the death penalty. Yes, I've heard that. But I don't believe it. And he was not the perpetrator, indeed. I knew it. Actually, the whole thing happened like this. What's that? Is somebody playing the organ? That's not important now. Just tell me what happened. No, I have to check. I'll be back in a moment. Now you just wait here. And don't touch anything. All right. You have to promise. Yeah, yeah. I, I won't touch anything. I, I promise. Good girl. See you in a bit. I'll tell you everything when I get back. Oh, I've seen plenty of horror movies start this way, buddy. Um, alright, so, uh, don't touch anything, huh? You don't tell me what to do, what if I touch this amplifier? Hmm, it doesn't get any power in here. I'd need to set it up somewhere else. Oh, okay. You, you can take it then. I'd better take it somewhere where there's a wall plug. There, now it's powered up. And the acoustics should be better as well. Cool. Or outside, is there anything else in here I need to grab? Before you automatically dump me outside? Magazine? This is a special interest magazine for guitar players. Hmm. Headphones? Oh! About this book. Hmm. Oh, I'm terrible when it comes to music puzzles. Uh, that's E, that's... Guitar, piano... Maybe? Organ? We're in a church after, huh? Organ pipes! Door, so that's where that sound came from, and I was right about the... Organ pipes. Locked. Mmm, okay. So that's gonna be locked. Stairs. Here's our organ. It's also a hatch here. Which we can pop open the hatch, alright. Okay. Hmm. Sounds like someone playing the guitar. Is that you, Harvey? Hey! 
Don't make so much noise down there! The guitar strings are vibrating in harmony with the organ! If you don't stop doing that, you'll create feedback! Hey, isn't that the Key Master's voice? Oh, the Key Master, we found him. He was in the church. <laughs> oh, God! But... What? Ah, Edna! What happened here? What have you done? That's what you get when you free an insane man from an asylum! You should never have done this! But, but you said I should make a key for you. And why did you listen to me? I shouldn't be free! Edna, you should have known this! Everybody has a right to freedom. Have a close look at the poor reverend. Edna, that's what the freedom you gave me looks like! This is your creation! But... I have taken precautions, so this will never happen again. I've locked us both up in here. I can't be allowed out in the world ever again. I can't stay here. I've got to get to my father's house. You have no choice. This is a puzzle that even you won't be able to solve. How do you manage to escape without setting me free at the same time? Can't I just push you and kill you and take the key that way, Keymaster Vince Clark, though? I mean, he was in a padded room for a reason. Sorry, Reverend. This is our fault. I think he's had it. <laughs> no kidding. Um, can we push this man? Don't try any funny stuff. My disappointment is immeasurable. What's in the distance? I can see the asylum in the distance. And there's the roadblock. And there... Isn't that Alu Man on the observation deck? Now I can't see him anymore. Well, I guess um he got his wish. <laughs> he got struck by lightning after all. Perfect. What about this Made bell here? in Motown. Tuned to J minor seven. Hmm. Detroit, huh? So, wait, what? Made in tuned to J minor seven. Oh, this is gonna be probably part of that music thing as well. Okay, let's start racking our brains here. The guitar strings are vibrating in harmony with the organ! Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Elevator music! Better press stop. Hmm. Well, there's also that as well. Could we... Put the headphone? Oh, the headphones there. Okay, hold up. So, maybe the bell? We'd have to ring the bell. I just don't know how to ring the bell. There's like a... I mean, shouldn't you just be able to pull the thing? Oh! Oh, that's probably why you have the mallet still. Okay, okay, so check this out. I think, um, let's see. Headphone? I've plugged it into the tape deck. Right. So we need to get it to that All man right. up there. I'll take it again, but I'll leave it plugged in. The cable doesn't seem to be very long, though. So we can get it up there to him. <gasps> oh! Oh, but the... Okay, so the hatch, though, you see how that's open? So, essentially speaking, it should reverberate the sound up there. Yo! You genius. Okay, so put that there. Aha! It went up! Giggity giggity. Okay, so now that's over there, too. Perfect, so... I guess now what I'll do is I'll just do the, the thing and then we'll go up and smash the bell and maybe that works out. Hey, this rocks! <laughs> He's put the headphones on. <laughs> okay, so now, now, um, this is where you get froggy, maybe? What was that scream? Right into the headphones. So, 
The organ is to make them put the headphones on, and then you bang the bell that goes right into the- Oh, dude! And he's not there anymore! I mean, I can imagine what probably happened to him. Oh, no! <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Or did I? All this can't be true. Wake me up, Harvey. Please? Harvey? Harvey? Say something! I'm sorry, Edna. I just had the feeling... as if I... What? What's up? Do you remember something? Oh, nothing. We... we've got more important things to do right now. Take the key and let's get out of here as fast as we can, okay? You took the words right out of my mouth, Harvey. Home. Finally. What now? I can remember things. But just little details. I used to set ants on fire in that flower bed over there. In this pond, I used to blow up frogs. It all feels smaller than it used to. Let's try to get inside. Then we'll look for my room. I used to write a diary. Maybe it's still there. I'm sure I'll be able to remember everything with that. Of course, the... The torturing of animals and bugs as a child. I'm gonna wrap it up here for this one. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for the next one. Last one, maybe? Perhaps not. I have no idea how far we are from the story here. But if we're back home, we're probably close to it. I'll catch you guys next time.